I don't trust this research like at all. But let's try, maybe someone has made a tutorial about the pinecone pig and all the things you can farm in the game and no. No, 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 no. But, but, my videos are here, this is very good, so I'm not gonna be angry, not even today. This is how to farm in the game. So, first of all, we have to think about what is farming in a game. Technically, farming is being able to get multiple times resources, usually without having to deal with too much trouble or danger. And you may think I'm joking, but in Fear and Hunger you can farm both items, health, mind, you can farm almost everything, even hunger. Let me explain. For this, you will need to get a pinecone pig. In order to get it, you need to get either the pinecone pig instruction by randomly finding them in, uh, I don't know, bookshelves or just uh, barrels, everything. Once you have them, you can either use a stick and a pinecone in order to make the pinecone pig in the crafting menu. Otherwise, you can use an empty scroll and you can say, Oh Lord, give pinecone pig with a space in order to get directly the pinecone pig. The game will tell you that you got a pinecone pig instruction, but actually, it's just a pinecone pig. Now, when you keep it on a character, every time you enter a battle, you have 25% chance of having a random item from the pinecone pig. And before telling what these items are, let's find about a way to enter a battle without having to deal with any damage or any problems. The way that I suggest the most is you have to get Trotur, destroy his left arm and you have it. You have an infinitely repeatable battle where you don't have to deal with any problems because Trotur cannot do anything, so even if you fail to escape, you are safe. If you already killed Trotur in your playthrough, you can actually do another thing, you can just take a guard, destroy his left arm and the stinger, and now you have another free way to escape forever. You just have to guard in case you fail to escape and the, you know, the grab attack is going to come in some turns. I made a video explanation about how does the guy work, if you're interested. But anyways, what can you get with the pinecone pig? So, this is a list of all the things you can get with the pinecone pig and, most importantly, you can get food. You can get items that restore mines such as the ale. You can get silver coins, and silver coins open other possibilities. You can get soul stones from the vendors, so you have infinite soul stones. You can get elixirs from the vendors, so you have infinite healing once again. You can get the sorcerer stone from the vendors, so you can even regenerate mind during the encounters in which you are farming for the pinecone pig. You know, the sorcerer stone is an accessory that lets you regenerate like 10 mind every turn, so you can just wait in those battles and you're settled. Also, there are some other useful stuff such as, I don't know, the quill in case you have an empty scroll and you want to use it, you know, and I'll let you figure out the rest and how to use it. Also, if you killed both Trotru and all the guards in the dungeon, I think you can set up the combo even with some other enemies such as, I don't know, the yellow mage or something, or the cave dwellers, but this is just it, see you next time!